A very wonderful morning to my esteemed listener out there. This is Yemi Grisman Adulogu, lead pastor, Lighthouse International Christian Center, Samanda UI Road, Ibadan, Nigeria, welcoming you to today's edition of our program, Daily Impact. We have been looking at the concept of hope in heavens, how your destiny, my destiny, my business, my venture, your business, your venture, can operate under God's open heaven. For this is what guarantees the rain and the fruitfulness upon a life, upon a destiny or venture, open heaven. We have seen the position or the place of God in the opening of the heavens over a life and destiny. From Genesis chapter 1, verses 1, 2, and 3. So we could see the personality of God, or the presence of God, the presence and the personality of God in opening the heavens over a man and his destiny. We have also seen the power of the Holy Spirit, the place of the Spirit of the living God in opening heaven over a life. We have considered the Word of God, the conveyor of God's power, and the personality of God. That is the Word of God. For in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. We have also looked at the place and the power of prayers in the opening of the heavens. We saw the example of our Lord Jesus Christ, how by praying and baptism, the heavens opened upon him and upon his ministry. And also in Mark chapter 1, verse 35, we saw how he rose up a great while before day, and that was his custom to pray, and the heavens remained open over his destiny and ministry. We saw how the heavens were opened upon Daniel, up, and it became open to the secrets of, of God, the secrets of the kingdom and the secrets of the king. And he was able to unravel the mysteries and the secret, and this hand him divine promotion. So we could see that open heaven uh, provokes divine promotion over a man and his destiny. One more key that opens the heaven is the key of praise. The key of praise. Psalm 67, we read from verse 5 to verse number 7. Psalm 67, from verse 5 to verse number 7. Reading from the New King James Version, the Word of God says, Let the people praise you, O God. Let all the people praise you. Then the earth shall yield our increase. God, our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us. And all the ends of the earth shall fear him. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let the people praise you. Then the earth shall yield our increase. Praise and thanksgiving is another major key that opens the heavens upon a life and upon a destiny. As a matter of fact, when we pray most of the time, and from examples in the scriptures, when we pray, God dispatches his angels to bring answers, miracles, and testimonies in the lives of people. When Cornelius prayed, God sent an angel to tell him to invite Peter to speak the word of God unto him. When Daniel prayed, God sent an angel to shut the mouth of the lions so that the lions could not hurt him. But do you know, when you praise, when we praise, God does not dispatch any angel. God steps into the situation himself. When Jehoshaphat and the host of Judah praised the Lord, God stepped into the matter himself. When Paul and Silas praised the Lord in Philippian jail, God stepped into the matter himself. So praise is very powerful. It is a potent key in the hands of the believer. Praise the Lord all the time. Worship him, give him thanks, and glorify his name. You are bringing God's presence, God's power, and everything that makes God God into that very situation. And God demonstrates his power as God. Praise is one of the things that you can do to bring God's presence into your life and into your situation perpetually. So you must be a grateful one because it is a grateful one that is a praiseful one. Be grateful and you will be praiseful. And so we want to begin to look at the place of praise in bringing God into our situation, in opening of the heavens, 
over our lives and over our destinies. Get ready to praise Him as we begin to look at this place of praise in opening of the heavens. And the Lord will step into your fears as you praise Him, as we worship Him. And the Lord will cause heavens over your life and over your destiny to be opened. I encourage you, start from now. Begin to praise Him. Praise Him all the time. In all situations, give Him thanks, give Him praise. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. And it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I invite you to join us for a glorious service at YY Event Center, Tipa Bus Stop, LALA Dwe Rua Road, Olobweru Ibadan, this Sunday at 9 a.m. Uh, if you are around the Ring Road, I invite you to join us at 101 MKO Abiola Way, opposite Move 21, Ring Road, Ibadan. Join and the Lord bless you as you join. Till I come your way again tomorrow morning for another exciting edition of our program. I am Yemi Grisman Abdulaju, wishing you a very glorious day. The Lord bless you.